no idea what I am <laughs> getting myself into. The wizard fired magic missile at the skull, which reflected back, and I blocked it with my shield. I am Alex Apollonia from Business Insider. I'm at the 20-sided store today in Brooklyn, and I am learning how to play Dungeons & Dragons for the first time. Dungeons & Dragons is a uh, fantasy role-playing game in which uh, you get together with a bunch of friends and tell stories. I teach people how to play all the time, and I find that um, a lot of people come in with no experience, they have nothing, they've never done it before, can take a pre-generated character and sort of by the end of a first session really get a handle on, on how the game is played and what's going on. It is in its 43rd year. It's been around a long time. The Demogorgon! Oh. We're deep <laughs> Will, your action! I don't know! The Stranger Things is amazing. Yeah, we, we got a huge uh, boost in people wanting to learn more about Dungeons & Dragons from that show. You know what a Demogorgon is? Uh, what? <laughs> this is a whole nother world to me, so it should be fun. Uh, everybody have a pencil? Yeah, pencil, pencil, Thanks. pencil, pencil. So what are the different pieces involved in the game? I see some props here, some dice. Are there cards as well? We're gonna get dressed up. Um, we could get dressed <laughs> up. Do you wanna, I have some capes, I've got some masks. There's something really amazing about having a, a, a fixed image, you know, like, okay, so this is what my character looks like. This is uh, their worst nightmare. A Draculich on top of Skull Mountain. People will get intimidated uh, sometimes by the rules or the numbers or even the dice. So you gotta be really good at math. Yeah, well, so <laughs> let me use my yeah. fingers. <laughs> but as long as you're telling the story and that you're 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 using your imagination uh, uh, with your friends, that's all Dungeons and Dragons is. There is a dungeon master, and the dungeon master kind of leads the whole game. How do you become the dungeon master? Oh man, you gotta put in a lot of work and a lot of time to organize. Usually you become the dungeon master because you really love telling stories. It's my first time playing. Any tips? Think about who your character is, what your character looks like, what your character would do. Uh, when there is an opportunity for failure, then I will ask you to roll something and we'll use these stats on your character sheet. Are we all friends? Are we all well, in the same team? Well, let's decide that. Let's oh. figure that out. <laughs> let's figure that out right now. You have to have an open mind, you have to have a big imagination, and you really have to embody the character. I am the rogue. <laughs> so we'll kind of go around, we'll sort of talk about maybe what our strengths are, what our character names are. My party included me, the rogue, a wizard, and a dwarf. My character, uh, his name is Door not. I am playing Falcor. And my name is Hevero Reisas. And I have a very uh, deep voice that I embody. I feel like I'm not gonna do the voice if no one else is doing the voice, so I'm not gonna do <laughs> it. So I have this sword that when I point them at someone, they can respond to me telepathically. Like my armor is deep purple. A lot of the things that can be learned as you go. Uh, there's a lot of resources online and things like that that can help out. And as a rogue, you have some cool special abilities. So you have sneak attack. I'm catching on. I'm slowly catching on. And I have a wonderful uh, team here to help walk me through this. So we started off where we were investigating an archaeological dig. They seem to have stumbled upon what they believe to be dragon bones. I am so ready to hunt for dragons. Bring it on. <laughs> A woman walks into the room, uh, she's got dirt on her face, she's uh, kind of got uh, some weird like artifact that looks kind of like a skull head that she sort of sets down on the table. Dragons will prevail. The egg petrified in stone will hatch with cold spell. It was definitely hard in the beginning to get into the story. I could feel myself kind of pulling back and like seeing what everyone else kind of was saying and bringing to the table. Do you know what these say? <laughs> Then we ended up going into a cave. It starts to get really dark. There are some torches uh, that have been uh, lit along the way. I have my own torch. Nice. Literally pulled it out of my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> what was your name again? Oh, my name is uh, Salandra Bernhardt. I play all the characters. All the other I play all the NPCs, I play all the monsters. Hi, hi, I'm Jimmy. They have summoned me to protect this place. I have got a very loose storyline that I am playing um, so I know sort of um, where I'm leading them and what they're going to find when they get there but how they interact with it is totally up to them. Did you guys feel that rumbling? I felt, like a tremor? yeah I felt a tremor. Mm -hmm. So I climbed up this mountain and I found this rock 
and I remember it being warm. As soon as you touch it, uh, you need to make me a constitution saving throw. It ended up kind of pushing me back and I fell to the ground. I passed out. Oh, I'm definitely happened. gonna die, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, everything is a little foggy and I, and I feel like my skin almost is, um, uh, it's kind of getting these like blisters on it. Once you get into the game and you kind of, you know, don't care about, you know, what anybody else thinks. That's really when the fun kind of comes about. I'm really good at climbing. And I see there's a little opening at the top. I see some, some footprints, some deep, large footprints. So then we made our way into this other room. It was a castle. Cinnamon, you smell sweet. cinnamon, it smells sweet. Mm. Once we went into the room, it was, it was dark, and I remember having my shield, I had my sword, and I was the one that was kind of like, all right, I got this. I took a step forward, and there was an altar, and on the altar was a skull. It looks like some, something in its eyes were starting to glow. And I ended up pointing my sword to the skull, and I said, how did you get here? and what can you tell us? I am the protector of this realm, and you have teleported into a place that you not, should not be. Nobody leaves this room without answering to me. So the wizard fired magic missile at the skull. It sort of absorbs those missiles, and it shoots them back at you. And I blocked it with my shield. I don't know where my shield came from, but I just pulled it out. I definitely enjoyed playing Dungeons and Dragons, especially for my first time. I was hesitant at first, a little nervous, but I feel like once I got into the game, it definitely became easier. She definitely uh, jumped right in um, and, and got into the action, and I think there's no um, wrong or right way to play D&D. Yeah, I think you did a great job. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, fun is what matters. I definitely would want to play again, and I think I would come back as a dungeon master.